The second way of creating roofs in Revit is by extrusion. And in this video, I'll show you how to do that. So if we go back to our Revit project, um, again, click on this arrow, choose roof by extrusion. And you will notice that now it asks us to pick a plane so that we can create our drawing. Um, let's click cancel for a minute. Now, the difference between a roof by footprint and a roof by extrusion is the fact that you can have, you know, various shapes if you were to create a roof by extrusion. So, um, as you guys have seen in the previous video, uh, the roof structure that you can create using a roof by footprint is actually just a typical roof structure. But if you wanted to sort of add an architectural feature to your building, say like a curved roof or something like that, then you've got to use a roof by extrusion. Now to start off with, um, in order to insert a roof by extrusion, I suggest that you use your one of the your elevation views. So assuming that the door was located on this side of the building, let's pick the south right so this is the south view so let's go and click on south and then go back to that arrow and click on roof by extrusion it will ask you to pick a plane so you got to pick a plane so let's pick this plane and what happens is that we will be drawing our roof with respect to this plane as you will see in a minute now you get this window as well so we specify the level as roof just like we had um, associated with one of the levels and the offset will just set it at zero so click OK now you get this um, you know panel that displays um, let's say we want a curved roof so pick on this curve and you know assign a start and assign a finish somewhere over here and you know also assign a given curvature for the roof so maybe we want it to be just a bit you know about 30 degrees curved so click press escape once and then choose that tick button so you will see uh, there's a curved roof that has been created uh, with respect to this uh, plane that we've chosen. So the plane was chosen as this wall. Now if we look at it in 3D um, Just before we look at it in 3D, we've got to shift the wall a bit above so you can do that by uh, using the arrow key so the um, The roof is Sort of now got a position so just leave a tiny gap between the roof and the wall for now um, I'll show you how to attach it in the next video. So if we go and click on uh, on our 3D view, you guys can see now that there's a curve associated with the roof. Now we can extend this roof. So if you click on it once, you'll see these two arrows, and these two arrows you can sort of drag them, and you'll um, you'll observe that it extends the roof in that direction that you drag. You drag in um, the uh, these two arrows are only located on these two sides of the roof because we chose to um, we chose to create the extrusion with respect to this 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 wall. So this was the plane with respect to uh, the drawing that was created, and that's why you see these two arrows on either side of uh, of, of this roof. If we had chosen to create the roof with respect to this wall, uh, these two arrows would be located on this side and on that side um, of the roof. So this is basically how you create a roof by extrusion in Revit.